Hey guys, welcome back to the Daily Vice channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about stars raising their price by $1, which is just $1. I was quite surprised, I thought it might be a bit extra, but they haven't raised their price since they launched, which is quite mind blowing. But this year, they have finally decided to make it a little bit more expensive. So instead of $8.99, it's now going to be $9.99. So a little bit more expensive. Nothing really new you're going to be seeing anytime soon. Um, basically, it's just to maintain the um, performance of their app, make sure it can run really well, basically be able to make it a really good service. Not much more other stuff is happening um, on there. And if you were a subscriber or cancelled your subscription, you guys would have got an email from Stars basically telling you exactly what they're doing and basically kind of why they're doing it. And basically it's to do with the way their app works, how well it performs, all that kind of great stuff and obviously the content that they provide on the platform. So that's basically what the price increase is really uh, about without getting into detail. So it's just about having more shows, more movies, the great app, all that great stuff, easy to do. Um, so that's basically what's happening and this all starts on the 26th of June. So basically what happens if you're currently subscribed right now? So basically just say your billing date is on, let's just say the 6th of June. Will you be charged $10? No, you should not be charged $10. You should only be charged $10 if your billing date is after the 26th of June, if that kind of makes sense. Now this price increase will be included to all customers, no matter where you are subscribing to it from. Maybe this could be DirecTV, this could be Sling, YouTube TV, doesn't matter where you're coming from. From the 26th, you'll be paying $10. You can't avoid it unless these networks do provide a discount. Like I know DirecTV currently now, I think they are offering three months free of the service and then after that you will pay your $10, if that makes sense. But at the moment, yeah, basically the, the only way you'll get a discount if the company, the company that you are subscribing to Stars with is offering a discount, like Stars actually is offering currently a discount for $5 a month. I think it's only one month only, you pay $5 and then you roll over to $10, okay? Uh, basically, that's what's happening right there. You can get some discounts sometimes through Sling, they might be offering $5 off, um, but yeah, try, check it out. But I know the most places that I saw that is offering quite a good deal is um, DirecTV. However, you're gonna pay basically $64 a month to enroll into that deal. So is it worth it? Maybe not. Um, so think about that down below. Uh, let us know what you think down below about that. But I just want to let you know, Stars is um, raising their price and this is gonna be to every single customer. Basically, we'll be paying $10 basically starting at the end of June, okay? Just to let you know, so if you notice your price increase is going higher, is there ways you can avoid it? And the only way you can avoid it is if like, your company that you're with, like this may be DirecTV, Sling TV, are offering some kind of discount. Other than that, it will be $10 per month. Let us know down below what you think about the whole thing. Are you gonna stay a subscriber because of the dollar extra? What do you guys think down below? Would love to know what your current thoughts of it, or do you think it's just a little bit of a scheme that they're doing to just try to compete with Hulu, you know, Disney Plus, all those other services right there. What do you think they're trying to do there? Let us all know down below if you would actually pay the dollar extra. All right guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.